it manifesting as like a humanoid and then disappearing. Now I was like, have you told anyone that story? I was like, no. I'm like, what the fudge? <laughs> so you've seen something when you were a kid. I did have a hallucination once when I broke my leg skiing when I was five years old. And I was put up in a hospital. And I saw there was like Bert and Ernie and, and all Sesame Street on the wall. And they were dancing. What? What the? Damn! Damn! And they weren't, it wasn't like they were just tribute, you know, just moving around all kaleidoscope. No, they were walking and dancing and singing. And I was like, I'm starting to feel funny. Well, I feel fine. I guess I'm going to... Oh, God. Why didn't anybody tell me? And there was another bed next to me, and I was like... She's in this person was sleeping. It was like another kid with something broken. I don't know. <laughs> totally oblivious. And I'm like, what? And, and I, and I kind of loved it, actually. I kind of was like, this is really cool. And, and this is paranormal again to me. But for some reason, I, I also knew that it had probably had something to do with something that they'd given me in this place, which it was. But, I, but both experiences, especially the first one, I didn't feel fear. I didn't feel threatened. I felt like that's the weird part, you know. And looking back, you know, going back to how I got into, you know, truth and, um, you know, going back to how I got into, you know, truth and, um, you know, truth and um truth and um you know when i was like maybe 17 18 early 20s it was like ufo and i'm still into ufo like what are those what's going on i don't care what it, we don't have to say little green men you know <laughs> but what's going on with this phenomenon i've always been fascinated but when I got into that phenomenon, I looked back on the monkey thing, the curious George that jumped off the shelf. And I was like, this, maybe this was some kind of an alien, you know, like maybe it was just showing itself like this. Stop it. Get some help. I definitely have interpreted it as a shapeshifter. No, God, please. No, 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 no. Because it was clearly something that wanted to make me feel a little more comfortable and therefore it adopted what I was using as a source of comfort. And I do feel like when I woke up and saw it, it seemed like it had to back off. Like it didn't really, like it was, the mission was it was going on that bed, but then as soon as I was staring at it, it was like, oh, I, I still want to do it, but I, I can't. And then, like I said, once it became this teddy bear, it seemed like it just, it was interested in me, but it didn't have permission to like enter the room. I saw a ghost once, my most pronounced ghost story, a few experiences like this, but my most pronounced one, and I was talking about ghosts, like you and I are now, for example, or, or p potential. What is that behind you? <laughs> <laughs> You actually scared me for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> just, j again, just the, you know what I mean? The, yeah. the energy. Yeah, it's so powerful. <laughs> it's so powerful. And I'm, you know, I'm open. And so when you're open, it's worse, you know? Like, so um, all of a sudden, it was like that, though. It was like that. We, I'm talking with a friend, and all of a sudden, not only could I feel like a, like an electrical surge, it was, it was like I could see a white light, but it wasn't there when you looked at it, but you could feel it and, and you could see it almost. Enough! That's enough! Oh, 
you made me miss. And I don't talk about it, of course, you know, because that ruffles no. feathers, you know, but yeah. but that's a biggie. It's like, no way. I told you my beliefs on God, you know, just a, a one infinite seems very close to what you believe. And I'm like, and now you're going to have me take the knee, you know, to a, to this character, you know, like that's supposed to be the son of God. Why would I take why would I pay homage to any any person's son? You know what I mean? Like the father is yeah. going to you're going to have more respect for our father. And, and, and they were, they're like, well, he is the father, you know, he's also the father and he's also the son. Well, then I'm just going to respect the father then if he's both, you know. I talk to God every day. I don't need me anybody to, talk, to be in between me and God. I don't need, and then they threw a ghost in, but, and then they threw a ghost in. Oh, like, yeah, the need, ghost. And then the ghost. Don't forget the ghost. <laughs> I know. Now this guy's tagging along, you know, like there's not enough. Do we need to divide ourselves from God so much? Now we're three times removed, you know. Absurd. Yep. But it's but it's a toughie. I mean, especially in America, it's very you know it's very controversial. You know. But my point is that our community, the mud flood community, for some reason, maybe it's just my view, is that there a lot of people are believing in this Jesus was already a thousand years reign thing. That's becoming a thing. I know. And it's probably nuts.